Picked up this Heath Kit grid dip meter for five dollars. I doubt if I'll ever dip any grids with it, but I think I'd like to use the front of this somehow. So let's take it apart and see if any of this is of value. So I'd like to keep the meter. I'd like to keep this dial. Probably use this in some kind of circuitry. And then there's a switch on the back. I wonder if we can make that any cleaner. Let's give it a squirt of the old bleach. See if that... Yeah, I'll probably give that the full... That meter looks only slightly better. Yeah, we'll probably give that a little thorough cleaning later. But right now, let's just take this apart and see if these two screws will do that. One. It looks like this is probably held together simply by these two. Take those off. Oh, that comes right off the back. Well, we can probably clean that up a little later. There's the switch. Now we've got to get this other part out of there. Oh, it's falling out already. Looks like we have to take out this on it. Oh no, it's just a... Yeah, that was some kind of shorting device. Remove that. And it looks like that snaps off there and comes off there. Luck we can slide this mess right out. I guess we're going to have to have some luck. We're just holding this together. Hmm. knob will have to come off. No, I don't think so. I think this actually is supposed to slide right out of there. Let's get the this case off. Well, I know I'm not going to run this on AC, so I might as well take out the AC cord. that piece right out of here. wonder if that capacitor is still holding charge. Hmm, doubt it. Let's see, what can I salvage here? That wouldn't turn without almost a little bit of a shame, but only a little bit. And I'm going to take apart most everything. Get rid of this old copper plate. I want to keep the knob potentiometer. Maybe this will be useful. I want to keep the meter, if in fact it works. And we want to be able to rotate this dial. Bend that. Well, there lies the remains of a once noble Heath kit grid dip meter labored over probably by some electronic enthusiast. I guess now it'll just be parts for a soon-to-be-constructed electroplastic steampunk machine.
and meter looks very useful. Might need to re print the dial, see if we can use that capacitor, and maybe the case. But for now, it'll just rest.